Hogwarts has a lot of secrets. There are countless passages, rooms, woods, lakes, and restricted sections. Even Dumbledore hasn't figured out all these secrets. As proven in the Goblet of Fire, he said, I took a wrong turn on the way to the bathroom and found myself in a beautifully proportioned room I had never seen before, containing a rather really magnificent collection of chamber pots. When I went back to investigate more closely, I discovered that the room had vanished. But I must keep an eye out for it. Possibly it is only accessible at 5.30 in the morning, or maybe it only appears at a quarter moon, or when the seeker has an exceptionally full bladder. Through this statement, we can definitely tell that Dumbledore stumbled upon the Room of Requirement and had zero idea. Nonetheless, it seems like these rooms are all over Hogwarts. I mean, Sazar Slytherin created a massive chamber of secrets, which was essentially undetectable for many years. Witches and wizards searched for it many times. And that got me thinking, if Slytherin created a room entirely for himself, it would stand to reason that the three other founders could have created something special for themselves as well. I started thinking about Hogwarts and how the Headmaster's chambers are quite hidden. And I thought about it again. The Headmaster. Singular. Why would there be one Headmaster's office when all four founders created the school and ran it together? This place was created for one. Although it was not completely hidden, it is locked by password and definitely not out in the open. It's guarded by a gargoyle in the books and leads to a Gryffindor knocker. In the movies, they actually changed the gargoyle to a full griffin standing guard at the door. It doesn't take a genius to figure out that this was likely created by Godric Gryffindor as a place of solitude for himself. It's also worth noting that Godric Gryffindor created the sorting hat, and we all know where that resides, inside the headmaster's office. One secret room we mentioned before is the Room of Requirement, which some refer to as the Come and Go Room. The room only appears when the witch or wizard is in great need of it. This room is accepting of all students. As I've mentioned before, this room could be anything from a washroom in the case of Dumbledore, or a place to train for an upcoming fight as in Dumbledore's army, or a hideout for students in looming dangers. But most importantly, it can be used for negative intent as well, as seen by Draco with the vanishing cabinet. This room does not judge. It accepts all and helps them with whatever their heart desires. Now, which Hogwarts founder does that sound like to you? To me, that sounds like Helga Hufflepuff. Unlike the three other founders, she did not choose any special students for her house. She's well known for her fairness and loyalty, and hard work trumps all. Pretty much everything that the Room of Requirement stands for. Finally, we have Rowena Ravenclaw. She was really known for her wit and was intimidating, which is right in line with another Hogwarts hallmark. Although the Grand Staircase is not hidden, Rowena Ravenclaw was a different type of witch. Rowena Ravenclaw liked to challenge all students and challenge their wit, and she did not hold prejudice. So this moving staircase was a daily reminder to challenge students and keep them thinking on their feet even in the most mundane of tasks. So what do you think? Do you think that the founders of Hogwarts actually created these? Or is there something else in Hogwarts that you think they have more of a hand in? Thank you for watching. Please consider supporting me on Patreon, like Adam Gray, Jeremy Jacobs, Jenny Edwards, Jeremy Robson, Gabe Marchanda, Trevor Cowan, and Gunnar Langland. Thank you so much for your support, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.